Hello and welcome back to Blackwatch Intel. My name is Karashi and today I want to talk about some of the roles in Overwatch. Now, I don't exactly know what my title is going to be for this. Sometimes I just like to rip open the mic and just get a little thoughts off my uh, off my head there. So basically, one of the main points of this video and this topic is I want to discuss why, in my opinion, the DPS role is so very popular and why it often becomes a problem that you have too many DPS mains or too many people that want to fill that role in a single team and there's really no way around that. It's It comes down to how someone is thinking and feeling at the time that their game starts that decides whether or not they stick on their DPS pick or whether or not they're willing to swap and overall no matter what they choose we know that almost everyone in their game minus the uh, the unique specific you know, uh, throwers, the people that are intentionally throwing, which is, I want to say is pretty rare. Everybody wants to win. That's the goal. No matter what they chose, whether or not it's to be a compromiser and pick heals or tank, whether or not it's to stay on their main, regardless of what the comp is, how the fights are going, whether they're a one trick or not, as long as they're not a thrower, an intentional thrower, they're trying to win. And again, this is coming from a place where it just feels like a problem. It feels like there's got to be something better than just having us queue up and forcing a game, no matter what the primary role of, of each player is. And I, I think I'd loved in some way to see a type of queue up system implemented permanently where you select two things, your primary role, and I would select DPS, and your secondary role, and I would select healing. And then when it puts you in a game, it does the game's best to create a very spread out team and maybe you can even see it with icons so you can say like okay this guy plays this and this this person plays this and this and then you communicate and you do what should be done in every single game to create the ideal setup whether it be three dps whether it be three tanks you know two healers one healer one symmetra whatever the case may be it'd be great to have some kind of a queue up system like that and i, I don't know if it's something this game will ever see i don't know if it's actually genuinely right for the game but i think it's something that i'd I like to think of in a utopian way whenever I get some of these frustrating games that I have. But alas, here we are, and part of the topic that I, I was bringing up, which was the popularity of DPS, was the fact that there are just so few tanks and so few healers in comparison to two DPS. Now I could go through and list out the numbers and do percentages and stuff, but I'm a little lazy for that. But seriously, I mean, when you are a tank main or when you are a support main, doesn't it feel like you're almost a one-trick yourself? It just feels like the roster doesn't quite fit for you, and it's not quite as fun. And overall, I just, I think those roles leave something to be desired, which is, is definitely the reason why they're not as popular, you know? It's a lot harder to be a tank one-trick when there's not as much to pick from. It doesn't feel special, it doesn't feel unique, and there's a there's definitely, because of the lacking numbers of those roles, there's definitely less to one trick, you know what I mean? Now obviously you have the very popular Zenyatta and Mercy one tricking, and that's totally fine. You have the DSPS Stankies who, you know, go out of their way to play Lucio, and that's so cool, but you really don't see a lot of tank one tricks, and it's just not much of a topic that you hear very much. It's, you just don't hear those roles being one tricked as much, and that's not what I'm saying should happen, but I definitely think it's interesting to explore why those roles just genuinely aren't as popular as DPS. And my, my thought on it is because there's just not enough. I mean, it's not as fun to be in that role and be able to swap around and, and change it up and, and have fun with it. So I don't really know where this leads us because it's definitely not a question of, well, we really need an influx of tanks or we really need an influx of healers because that's just not the, that's not the answer. And it, it's something that's pretty impossible anyways because of the hero release schedule. So I don't know. It's just an interesting thought from my perspective and I'd love to hear yours, but all in all, I think I would love to see them experiment with some form of queue up system or, or or some kind of, you know, selecting your role system. I mean, this is Blizzard. They're the kings of that, you know, especially if you're looking at World of Warcraft, but I don't know how that would work because you have to understand that they cannot standardize the meta because they don't want to restrict us in that way, but they could use it as a kind of SR balancing tool where the, the game can do its best to have the most even setup, but what would that setup be? So it's not so black and white, it's not as easy as it sounds, but it would definitely be an amazing feeling to be able to list 
what you prefer playing and have other people see that and wipe out some of that communication that has to happen instantly and that dialogue that should be happening in every game with, you know, a built-in system to help us out. Get us in some games with some more even spread out, you know, roster of players, not just heroes that are available to us and really let us, you know, fill in the rest. All in all, I just feel like I want Overwatch to feel serious. I want people to enjoy why they're playing each role and while I specifically love really I really do love playing all three roles it's just it, it just feels frustrating to me whenever everyone on my team picks DPS and it doesn't seem like we can get a, a real game going regardless of what rank I'm playing at so hopefully you can kind of sympathize with my point of view I just want to see the game go in the right direction I think this game is is so new it's so fresh with the idea with the execution of everything they're going for that we're not even close to what it can become. We have so much evolution for the developers to, to create and innovate in this brand new space that they've really kind of created for the community of Overwatch. So I'm excited for the future. Thanks for checking out this video. Please do not leave without leaving a like and subscribe for future content. I'm super excited to keep making these videos and, and seeing the engagement that we're having. So thanks again for watching and I'll see you for the next one.